Imagine for a second that everyday public employees report to work, collect a paycheck from taxpayers, and don't perform any government duties. Instead, they spend their time working on private tasks unrelated to their public jobs. Unfortunately, there is no need to imagine. While most Floridians are unaware, Florida taxpayers dole out millions of dollars to unions through a common practice known as union release time. Union release time, or simply release time, allows public employees to conduct union business during working hours without losing pay. In Tampa, between fiscal year 2017 and 2018, release time cost taxpayers over $800,000. In Jacksonville, over $400,000 in the same time period. In Miami-Dade County between fiscal year 2017 and 2019, public employees spent over 130,000 hours on release time, costing over $4.3 million. Perhaps even more concerning than these numbers is the fact that none of these local governments keep record of what's actually being done during all this time away from work. While all of this can be a little concerning, Florida's policymakers have a couple options to crack down on abusing release time. The simplest method would be for the legislature to stop union release time altogether or greatly reduce the amount of release time allowed. Another option is to require unions to pick up the bill for the cost of release time and require more accountability for what public employees do during this time. Government should always strive to act as better stewards of taxpayer funds and cut expenses for anything that does not benefit the public. The Sunshine State has the tools at its disposal to put an end to giving taxpayer money to private entities for private benefit. It's time we use those tools. Go to jamesmadison.org or follow us on social media to learn more.